climate change is occurring. We are going to run out of fossil fuels. As oil begins to dwindle, that's what's going to be the game changer. 200 years ago, Vermont had a year without a summer. And I feel like I just went through a year without a winter. The evidence is that that whole equation is going to start to change very quickly within the next decade. So we need to be thinking about renewable resources uh, to power the things we want to power in our lives. Vermont has a lot of forest resources. Using our biomass resources uh, makes sense in the state of Vermont because they reduce our carbon footprint, uh, they're in our backyards, they're renewable, they give us a relationship to the state that we live in. Vermont is covered with forests. We're 80% of our land area is covered with forests, so that is our resource. We are also one of the more heavily um, dependent on imported fossil fuel for heating oil. So it's really a very synergistic role that wood can play to displace that heating oil, both for the protection of our forest resources and for, uh, and for increasing our energy security and economic development in the state. About 900,000 green tons of wood annually would be available, and, and that's in addition to what we're already, what's already being used in Vermont. It's not a bottomless supply. We're pretty confident that, that we've got um, a fairly substantial amount of, of wood that could be sustainably harvested for future projects. Biomass should be used primarily for cogeneration on a small scale or for thermal application. If we can use it wisely, we can actually have significant economic savings. We have uh, many schools and public buildings that heat with wood chip. Wood chip technology is great, and I really am proud of Vermont for our developing this technology, for being national leaders. At the moment, 43 Vermont schools are uh, utilizing wood chip fuels, and it's about 35% of Vermont K-12 square K-12 school square footage, and oh, probably a little more than 30% of Vermont K-12 public school kids go to wood chip heated schools now. They're, they're displacing about 1.4 million gallons of fuel oil a year, or fuel oil equivalent, and they're saving, I believe it's $1.7 million a year in fuel costs. When you heat with wood, produced in Vermont, grown in Vermont, about 85% of the money you spend on that wood product stays in Vermont. Whereas when you heat with fossil fuels, about 85% of the money you spend on the fossil fuels leaves the state of Vermont. And it'd be just a major stimulus to put all that money that we spend on fossil fuels for heating back into uh, the products Vermonters are making. It's certainly uh, enhancing our, our local economy. I know, I know of uh, probably half a dozen guys that are probably, you know, have a job because of uh, our plant and a variety of other plants in the area. So uh, from that perspective, it's, it's creating jobs in our area and uh, keeping our forests healthy. You know, we were probably spending $3,000 a day, where we're probably spending 700 bucks a day now, so it's a considerable savings. Heating with biomass in Vermont to me is a no-brainer. Biomass, luckily, is a renewable resource. Although we have a limited amount of space for our trees, we do have the ability to regrow the trees. So we're all working together to create resources and to use our energy wisely. You leave the resource that you're drawing on for energy available to the next generation and the generation after that without degrading it. And so if the resource base that we're talking about here is biomass, is wood, forest wood, then obviously you have to treat the forest correctly on a long-term basis. What we're really talking about is the perpetual ability of that forest resource to regenerate and continue to provide um, all the values that we need a forest to provide. Habitat, recreation, water quality, air quality, all of those values need to be preserved and to the extent that we can remove wood for all forest, forest products, um, lumber, 
and biomass and do that in a sustainable way. The goal is to uh, be able to maintain that indefinitely and that's what renewable means and sustainable means. People are getting their heat from their own backyard. If we consume too much of those products, they're going to be able to see it. If you're burning oil to do these things, that oil is coming from someplace you don't see and you don't have a, really don't have a real context of what's going on. I think we're using our own energy from our own backyards. We're going to have to be much more in touch. Conservation. How do we decrease our energy footprint? Tightening up our buildings and using less is a really important component of it. The next generation has to be the efficiency generation. We have to become much more efficient at using the resources available to us. I really love the generation I'm a part of. They really want to see a huge change in uh, our energy future. It is possible to transition to a more sustainable economy um, where my peers see jobs in their future, they see money, and the affordability to live. We can't do it with wind alone. We can't do it with solar alone. We can't do it with biomass alone. We're gonna to have to have a mixture of things, and, and biomass is, is at the table. I'm looking at my future that's in front of me. I'm thinking about my children's future. If we're not using our biomass resources to heat our state, we have to use something else. We're running the risk of being hypocrites. If we develop energy from other people's backyards, it shouldn't be NIMBY, it should be WIMBY. What's in my backyard that we can use to support Vermont's energy future? People who basically say, yes, yes, I'm you know, a real supporter of renewable energy, but I don't want this thing here, near where I live. That's an unsettling thing when you think about the future. We just, we just can't afford to do that. So if we keep saying no, 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 well, what are we going to say yes to? Continuing to burn oil? Well, that's just not an answer.